she's alive again. Got the transmission back in her. Uh, I didn't have all the tools to do a full rebuild. And they're expensive, so possibly next time. Only thing I really did was change out the clutch and replace the valve body because I drilled it for the HD2 um, pressure relief thing, which ends up causing low line pressure if you look online. And judging by the valve on the pressure relief, I bet it was, which might be why, ooh, I can show you the clutches. Might be why it smoked the clutches in third. Well, they're all toast. Here. That's pretty, huh? Burnt, burnt. Not really any friction left on that one. So they were done. So anyway, I put the, the rest of the transgo parts in the new valve body, except for the pressure relief mod. Um, I hadn't drilled the plate last time for the firm shifts. I don't know why. It's possible I was still drinking at the time. Um, I did this time and that'll rattle your teeth, which isn't too good for me because I don't have many left. Let's see. So transmission works. Uh, AEM boost controllers suck. Suck, suck, suck. Uh, the first one I put in here didn't last until I was even roadworthy for it took a dump and they had to replace it. The buttons on these are so small that you're like, it's almost impossible to get it to do what you want to do. And it doesn't work. So I had it set for 40% duty cycle and with 11 pound springs, that should have given me like 16 pounds. Well, it was hitting 27. I'm not even sure how it, that, anyway, it's what it was doing. So I dumped the boost controller and just added a tile MVR plane in the new color wastegate spring to the existing 11 pound on three spring. And I've got right at 20 and a half pounds. So that is sweet. The micro, is at its limits. I'm sure that's the problem. So if I don't try to data log and I don't try to do auto tune, it won't drop cylinders at the end of a run. If I do that, I think it's just too much for the ECU and it starts breaking up and spitting and coughing and missing and then it'll just drop a bank of cylinders and you got a power socket for it to come back up. So that the micro is at its limit for this project, which is odd because Sloppy got his to work, but he's got more skills than I do. Uh, I sold the MS3 because we needed the money, so now I don't know what I'm going to do. I was gambling this would work well, and it really didn't. So I guess we'll drive her like she is for now. Uh, tires hook, I think I told you. Even on this dirty farm road we got up front, they hook pretty good. Very pleased with that. If we just get the ECU thing taken care of. I don't doubt this thing would run in the nines. Anyway, useless info for the day. Hope you kids are having a good weekend. Talk to you later.